next set of muscles, rectus femoris and the vasti. Together, the rectus femoris and vasti make up the quadriceps. You'd expect four muscles in the quadriceps, and indeed there are. Rectus femoris is one of them, and then there are three vasti. Vastus lateralis on the outside of the leg, vastus medialis on the middle of the leg, and vastus intermedius, which is deep to the rectus femoris. If we ever want to get EMG of the vastus intermedius, it's a tricky procedure. We have to take a long EMG electrode, insert it through the rectus femoris down until we hit the bone, and we back it out a little bit and we can get a good signal from the vastus intermedius. So the rectus femoris is a key muscle because it crosses two joints. It crosses in front of the hip, it starts here, generates a hip flexion moment, and it crosses in front of the knee, so it generates a knee extension moment. What's interesting about the rectus femoris is that it's, because it crosses both those joints, it's quite good at swinging your leg forward during the swing phase. That's opposite to the hamstrings, also a two joint muscle, crosses behind the hip and behind the knee that produces a, a extension of the limb. So rectus femoris, hamstrings, rectus femoris, hamstrings, those muscles are really good at swinging the leg forward and back. The other three components, the vasti, are very powerful muscles and together the vasti plus rectus femoris make up the quadriceps. Now sometimes there's excessive activity in the rectus femoris and that's thought to cause stiff knee gait and cerebral palsy. So what that looks like I'm showing in the plot here. So what I'm plotting is knee flexion angle versus percent gait cycle. So here's normal knee flexion angle shown in gray. There's a little bit of knee flexion during stance but then a lot of knee flexion during the swing phase. In stiff knee gait, that's absent. The, the knee doesn't flex or extend much. And that's problematic because the, if your knee doesn't flex, you don't clear the foot from the ground, you can trip, it's energy inefficient. So when that's the case, sometimes individuals with cerebral palsy will have what's called a rectus femoris transfer surgery. It's a type of surgery in which the muscles detached from the patella and rerouted behind the knee so that it turns into more like a sartorius. We'll examine what muscles do before and after these tendon transfer surgeries in class, and we'll also do an example with open sim. So that's the quadriceps, rectus femoris plus the vasti equal the foreheads of the quadriceps. Let's move on.